Hello, welcome to the Learn at Home session. My name is Oweli Uche, and we'll be having an English lesson. And this class is for Junior Secondary School 3. And we'll be dealing with the topic adverbials. Okay? I'm sure you have heard of adverbials. We will be having some lesson objectives, and this includes what are adverbials. Identify adverbials in a sentence. You should be able to identify adverbials when a sentence is made. And then mention at least two ways adverbials are formed or used in a sentence. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, what part of speech tells the action in a sentence? Can you remember that? Of course, verbs. Verbs tell the action in the sentence. Then, can you remember also or think of a word that can give you more information or more, uh, more idea on what a verb is? Is or how the verb was done. Okay, let's look at some examples. We have children playing. Any word that tells you how they are playing, or where they are playing, why they are playing, or even how they are playing. Think about it. Okay, we have a girl singing. How is she singing? What is she singing? Where is she singing? Okay. We have people discussing, how are they discussing? Where are they discussing? All these, if you can find the answers in you, you would be very close to understanding what we are discussing today. And that is adverbs. So, what are adverbials? We say adverbials are words that are used to give more information about the verb. Adverbials also give you more information about an adjective. Or adverbials could also be used to tell you more about other adverb in a sentence. Okay, so let's look at this. The people are walking. I'm walking, of course. Isn't it? Yes, we all take a walk. But how is the walking being done? How is the walking being done? We say they are walking. It's an expression without any further information. That is just the verb. Okay? Then we say they are walking fast or happily when you do something in that manner the word happily tells you what more about the action that you were carrying out so we say fast or happily is the adverb in that sentence do you get it now okay so let's see more information so we say fast or happily gives more information about the action, which is what? Walking. Now, the word fast or happily are known as what? Adverbials. Okay, I need you to get this very clear. That adverbials are part of speech. And as part of speech, we also refer to them as what? Adverbs. And as adverbs, what do they do? They describe the verb or an adjective or another verb or another adverb in a sentence. Okay, so let's look at this example. Ada speaks respectfully to all. What's her action? Speaks. And which word tells you how she speaks? Respectfully. So we say respectfully, we say respectfully in this case is an adverbial is that clear 
Okay. So, she quickly closed the door. Her action is to close the door. Now, any information about how, why, or when, or what manner she closed the door, we say quickly gives us an idea of the manner she closed the door. Okay. So, adverbials do not only describe actions. They also describe adjectives or other adverb in the sentence. Let's look at this. He reads really old poems all the time. He really reads or he reads really old poems all the time. You can find his action, which is what? Read. And then you can find what he reads, which is what? Poems. In this sentence, you will find what kind of poem? Old poem. This is an adjective. But you can see a word describing how old are these poems he reads. And that is what? Really. So we say the word really is an adverbial or an adverb telling you more about the old in the case of modifying an adjective. And also we have other words like all the time as an adverbial telling you how often he reads. So in this sentence, you have an adverb modifying another adverb and you have an adverb telling you more about an adjective. I hope you get that. Okay, so let's take another thing I want you to note in, to note about adverbials. We say adverbials can be one word in a sentence. It could be one word, just a word, in the case of an adverb. The boy closed the door. The boy closed the door quietly. One word. Stating what? How he closed the door. Do you get it? One word, quietly. So we say an adverbial or adverbials could just be just one word, in the case of a single word, an adverb. Or we say adverbials can also be a group of words. A group of words. In this case, what are a group of words? Phrases and clauses. In this case, subordinate clauses. So, an adverbial could be a phrase. Let's consider the sentence. Okay? Tina and Vera sang happily during the music competition. What action did they carry out? They sang. Isn't it? How did they sing? One word, an adverbial, they sang happily. But group of words, group of words, during the music competition. So the whole of during the music competition is also adverbials. They are also adverbials used as a group of words. In this case, we say they are a phrase. We refer to that as what? Adverbial phrase, or simply put, adverbial phrase of time. Because this group of words is telling you when they carried out the action. Did you get that? Good. All right. So let's see another fact I want you to have about adverbials. Adverbials are usually part of the predicate. Predicate or the verb in a sentence. A sentence can be grouped. You already know. A sentence must have a subject as well as what? A predicate. Now, adverbials are part of the predicate in a sentence. Let's look at this. We said Tina and Vera, this form the subject. Isn't it? Tina and Vera. Then, the predicate, sang happily during the music competition. Sang happily during the music competition is known as the predicate or the verb in the sentence. Isn't it? Good. 
Now, where can we find our adverbials? Which part? Is it the subject part or the predicate part? So you will find the adverbials happily during the music competition in the predicate part, which that is why we say adverbials are part of the predicate part in a sentence. Do you get that? Okay. One more fact I want you to know. Let's look at this other sentence. Adverbials can be used or before or after what it describes. It can be used before or after what it describes. Let's consider the sentence, Tunde opened the door quietly. What is the adverbial in this sentence? Quietly, of course. When do we have the adverbials? After the verb opened, then you have the adverb quietly. We call this post modifier. And then we said it can also be before what it described. In this case, Tunde quietly opened the door. So we have moved quietly from after the action to before the action. We call this pre-modifier. So adverbials can come either before what it describes or after what it describes. Okay. All right. So before we go, I would like us to consider another fact. We said a sentence may have more than one or just one adverbials. I don't know if you get that. Yes. A sentence may have one adverbial or more adverbials in one sentence. Let's look at this. We say, okay, Bayo comes to school early every morning. Bayo comes to school early every morning. What are we checking for? One adverbial or multiple adverbials, more than one in just one sentence. Okay, we have the verb comes, and then we have the adverbial clause to school every morning. Let's see how many adverbials are here. We can say, bio comes to school. We have an adverbial here, isn't it? We have an adverbial. Let's call this one. We say bio comes to school early. That sentence is correct, isn't it? Good. So we have another adverbial. We'll call it two. Then bio comes to school every comes to school early every morning. How many adverbials? We have every morning as the third adverbial in this sentence. So you can see in one sentence, you can have more than one adverbials. Do you get that? So to school talks about the place. Early tells us about the time. Every morning talks about how often he does that. Okay. So, in the course of this lesson, I'm sure you would have learned the meaning of adverbials and the examples that they, you can identify them in this sentence. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you can do. I want you to tell me which of these sentences clearly describe what an adverbial is. We have sentence A. Adverbials describe or tell us more about nouns, pronouns, or adjectives. Is that correct? Oh, you think about it. I have another sentence for you. Okay. Adverbials are also adverbs. They describe or tell us more about an action, that is the verb. They can tell us more about an adjective or even another adverb in the sentence. So which of these two describes adverbials? 
A or B? Very good. It is B. Because adverbials tells us more about the action, about the ad ad uh, adjective in a sentence, or can also describe another adverbials. All right, before we round up the session, let us quickly find out what are the adverbials in this sentence. Can you try that? The boy ran quickly. Can you think of the adverbial? Good. Note it down. What about mom recently baked a pie? Can you identify the adverbial? Okay, let's try another one. They talked too loudly. They talked too loudly. The children played outside. And if I want, they played outside happily. You, you can find the adverbials. I'll leave you to identify them. Please put them down in your note. Okay? And so before we round up, let us quickly take some questions. Um, identify and write out the adverbials in each of these sentences. One, she almost finished her work. She almost finished her work. The results were announced yesterday. Second sentence. The results were announced yesterday. You can identify the adverbials. Okay, let's take a third one. Children should carefully avoid strangers. Children should carefully avoid strangers. Can you identify the adverbials? Good. And then, the government is working tirelessly to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Can you identify the adverbials? Okay, and so we will take this as your task for the next lesson. Types of adverbials. I want you to take them as your assignment. Find out what kind, what does adverbial of manner, place, time, frequency, or purpose. How are these adverbials? What are they? How do we use them? What do they do? And I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you for listening and see you during the next class.